Welcome back. And finally, we're joined by the AMVCA's winning director for Best Indigenous Film, Yoruba. Yes. Edgar Leroy is his name. He's an astute um, student of the arts and film uh, film school. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, well, he learns all of the things that he's going to share with us yeah. um, on his journey here in Nigeria. It You're might welcome. interest you to know that Edgar is not, not, not exactly Nigerian. He's been around in Nigeria for quite a while, but you're, for, you're from Cameroon. Right. And you Welcome won Best Director for an Indigenous Movie here? Yoruba. <laughs> Explain. <Wow. laughs> Still very surreal. Still very surreal up until this very moment as we speak, because, you know, Directing a feature film is not, it's not child's play mm. to begin with, let alone directing a feature film in a language that you do not understand. understand. Yes, but then the passion would make you do things sometimes that mm. feels almost impossible. Okay, I know this was your directorial debut in the mm -hmm. film industry, as in the film, um, mm -hmm. but what was it about the story that captivated you that want to be on this project? Well, so first off, I would identify myself as an indigenous African filmmaker mm. because yeah, Africa well, is... if you had won the if you hadn't won the award, <laughs> you kind of get so that's like my next project right now is still an indigenous story. Oh, okay. You know, almost all the projects I have lined up are indigenous stories mm -hmm. in languages I do not understand from wow. different parts of Africa. Wow. You know, it's. It makes the whole process even more exciting, exciting. and challenging, okay. and that is just the joy. That's what drives you. Yes. Okay. So, you know, Africa is so rich, and we have to tell our stories. Mm. Hollywood has done it all. Oh. Yeah. Bollywood has done even, you know, crazier but, things. Yeah. Now you have Korea coming in and really, yes. really giving mm -hmm. us the vibes, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So we as Africans, the best we can do is just to tell our stories with the most authenticity possible. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Now I, I do find Alaisha. Uh, yes. Very authentic, mm. extremely authentic. But it feels like you had to go to a very remote part of Nigeria. Um, tell us a bit about the location and, as a director, those amazing shots. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, it was it was um, it was a lot of fun. Um, but then at the same time, we had to understand what we had as resources because we had very little or no resources at all. Wow. We you know, every director says that. Mm. Ah. Everybody says that there's no that's, budget, that's no true. budget. That's but how true. much are we talking? <laughs> 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 um, five million, way under five million, somewhere mm. around that. Okay, yeah. okay. On one Not US dollars, uh, no. Naira. Okay, Naira. <laughs> <laughs> just check. Just, you just know. Kidding. On some of these big projects I've assisted on, those would be stuff that they will use for maybe a day or two to do welfare, to feed people on set, wow. really. Wow. So it's a shoestring budget. But, you mm -hmm. know, God's so kind. Yeah. Our efforts were richly rewarded. Mm. Where was the location? Sorry. Sorry. Um, the film was shot on location in Fiditi, or your state. Okay. okay. Um, the reason why we took it that way was because um, shooting in Lagos, Locations are expensive. Mm -hmm. I find myself paying for locations in Lagos, one location for a day, over 500,000. Wow. What? Yes, for a location. Like a mansion or yes. a duplex or a wow. flat? Or a mansion. A like if face you want face to do face a mansion kind of vibe, right? Wow. I shot a commercial just like some, sometime last year and that's how much I paid. Wow. I'm shooting something this weekend and I'm paying 300,000 for just a field with no structure on it. For wow. a day? For a day. For like 24 hours? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no I'm just, I'm, it's yeah. just incredible. That is what they will tell you, but when, yeah. when it's like 12 hours, you start seeing people grumbling in the background and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Wow. That must be really expensive. Wow. Um, you're Cameroonian, you really do not understand um, any Nigerian language or any of our ethnic languages, but how were you able to, you know, um, understand the script and interpret it in the way that you wanted to. I mean, with the, you know, given the directions for the movie. Mm -hmm. So how did you, how did that, how did you, I need to, I need to be in your headspace right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, like I said earlier, it's really still very surreal up until this very moment because, you know, how, how does it happen, yeah. right? But um, from, so the way the story was conceived, my partner David and I, David Akonde, we were um, filming a documentary about some slum community 
within the confines of Owuru, trying to like inspire young people and all that kind of thing. So we saw a house that was sinking, and then they was like, what if you know, some people were trapped in this house? No, 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 no. no they started thinking and all. And before long, you know, we started developing the story, sure. developing the story. But then, when the story was fully flushed out and we were going for production, it was obvious that my weakness was the language. So okay. we just had somebody on set who was translating for me. Like, before we film every scene, he would literally come and then would like read through all the lines and then I literally have a mental map of what every line is saying wow. at that very moment. Then okay. I give my blockings to the actors and everything. And I was on camera, I directed, I did drones, wow. I did everything. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm wondering how, how many cameras in total did we, did we work with? We had two cameras on set. Okay. I was operating those two cameras wow. simultaneously because we could not afford the second um, DOP. DOP. Oh. Um, wow. But at the same time, most of the film, like 75% of the film was shot with one camera. And at some point, my crew almost beat me up on set. They were like, wow. why would you have two cameras on set and then you're filming with just one? But then they just did not understand and, yeah. my angle to storytelling, mm -hmm. you know? By the time we're getting to day four of shoot, which was like our final day, they began to understand, you know, my approach and how I thought I was telling that story. story. And, you know, they were slowly getting comfortable, but the production was already over. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you had, um, your movie was um, in a very um, interesting category yeah. with other amazing indigenous movies in the mm. Yoruba category. And to be honest, I didn't see you people winning. Mm. Everybody, I didn't yeah. see us winning. It, wow. I mean, the nomination was enough for me Aww. because it was it was surreal to see that you know this project we made with very little or nothing mm. got recognized by the AMVCA and they had thousands of films coming. Yeah, coming in. You know, and then we got recognized. That was enough for me. That was such a big win. In the hall, when they were announcing, I was recording, like, whosoever won, I would, like, post and say congratulations. But then they called wow. our news, and, and I, you, I you, literally you... freaked out. I almost passed out. Wow. Because it was, it was unbelievable. So were you told, I mean, the, the award, <laughs> what, did they tell you guys what was it that stood out in the movie for wow. them that would, did you know... Tell I you? wish they did, but... Well, do, yeah. you have, do you think you have an, have idea, an idea now? Yeah. Uh, sincerely, I can't tell, right? Because we just went there and we did the most we could. And really, I don't know. We just told the story from the perspective we could. And I'm sure that with all the films that were in our category, ours would be like the minimum, like mm. the barest minimum. Wow. And every other person could have won but mm. us. That's wow. It's really interesting. Congratulations, Congratulations. So on the much. award. And um, really, more grease to all the other indigenous movies you're yeah. trying to make. Thank uh, you. Speaking of movies, this is... Alaishe. Okay. <laughs> 